message. This is the face every woman makes after I send them a picture on their iPhone. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create a clipping mask, and then I'm going to show you how to create a clipping mask to a grid. It's a very cool technique. It only takes a minute or two to learn, and it allows you to do cool things just like this. Let's get started. It should only take about two minutes. Here we go. All right, so let's start off. I've opened up this image. This is the face every woman makes after I send them a picture on their iPhone. <laughs> but uh, here we go. We want to go ahead and start creating a clipping mask and a clipping mask grid. First thing you want to do, go to the top here. Go to View. Go to Guides and then go to New Guide Layout. When you do that, you're going to get a bunch of options. But what you want to do is you want to enable columns and rows. In this case, I'm going with four rows and four columns. So you'll see it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's just what I'm going with. I'm going to checkerboard it. But if you wanted something a little fancier, you can just see here that you can just add things in as you see fit. If you want a margin, if you want gutters, all here to be created. Let's make a gutter of 20 pixels. Two rows, for example. I'll just show you an example here. This is a completely different look. All of them are great. I'm going to go with 4x4, four four, but I wanted you to see that this was available. So let's go back to what I had. 4x4 four four checkerboard. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And then now we're going to go to the left side. I'm going to select the layer. I'm going to go to the left side here. And on the left side, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. What I'm going to do is I'm now just going to drag out a rectangle and I'm going to go ahead and just basically fill in one of the grids or one of the rectangles on this grid. When I do that, you'll see that I have fill set to black and I have no stroke. It's very important that you make the stroke turn to off, which is this uh, red line on a, on a right, angle, right angle there. But uh, you want the grid, you want the fill set to any color, it doesn't matter. Stroke needs to be set off unless you're going for a very cool uh, stroke technique. But in this case, we're not doing that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a second rectangle to match the first one and presto. So I'm basically just sort of camel casing them or splitting them apart. The next step here is in the layers panel, you'll see that I've got rectangle one and rectangle two. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the first one. I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to click on the second one. And now I'm going to hold down the alt key on a PC, option key on a Mac and just pull down. And I'm basically just setting a duplicate. So I'm just duplicating that. And now I've gone ahead and duplicated it. Now, if I want, I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm just gonna pull it to the right here. And I'm just gonna kinda of, kind of just, you know, go ahead and kind of offset them here. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna grab these two here. For example, I'm gonna hold down the alt or the option key. I'm gonna pull down and bang, there we go. And then I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm just gonna sort of slowly put them into place one more time. There we go. And then I'm going to shift and pull it. Oops, I missed that one. I missed the key. There we go. I'm going to hold shift and then I'm just going to pull this one over just like that. This one did not come with me. There we go. Oops, I was not holding down the keys. So there we go. We've gone ahead and created this cool little grid. Now, the next step, and this is very important, is you want to grab all of the things, all of the shapes that you just created. So for me, I've got eight shapes here. I believe, and I haven't named them yet, not to worry. I'm gonna go in here in the layers panel, I'm gonna select them all. And then once I've got them all selected, I'm just gonna go and right click, and I'm just basically gonna go ahead and group them. So I'm gonna go group from layers, and presto. I'm just gonna call it group one because I'm lazy, and there we go, we've got group one. All of these shapes are in one group. Now, grab the original image that I've got here, and just move it above group one. And now, because, because in order to clip a mask or to clip something, you gotta, clip the top to the bottom, so to speak. So I'm going to now hold down the Alt key on a Mac, Option key on a PC. I'm going to hover between these two lines right here when I get the little down arrow and the square there, and watch this. There we go. We've created a clipping mask grid, what's basically just a fancy clipping mask. That is all there is to it. Thanks for watching.